Bro, do you even lift? Friends don't let friends skip leg day. They just don't. If you worked out without even looking at a mirror, did you even lift? No, I didn't make it to the gym, but the, uh, the guy at McDonald's, his name was Jim. Hi, this is Bobby Angel with Ascension Presents. Today I'd like to talk to you about uh, kind of a funny topic, but it's one I'm seeing more and more. I want to talk about why we shouldn't worship the weight room. Now, it is good to be athletic, it is good to take care of your body. I am not arguing with any of that. But what I'm seeing more and more is a genuine um, preparing myself to exercise, for going about it in such a ritualized way that it's really becoming like uh, something we worship. I grew up not very athletic. I, I couldn't catch a ball to save my life, but I found out that I could run away from danger pretty quickly. It wasn't until uh, college that I realized, hey, I, I can lift heavy things and then put them back down again, and I'm just going to do that. When we look at the word worship, worship really is to give worth to. So what do I worship? We worship all sorts of things, and that's, again, kind of the, the danger, uh, what the very first commandment lays out. The Lord is our God, the Lord alone, not to take up any kind of idols, not to worship anything and give worth to anything other than Him and Him alone. So we worship all sorts of things. We worship uh, football, we worship music or musicians or celebrities or even, good. again, these are good things, but when they become the number one thing, our priorities get out of whack. Now our health can absolutely be something we worship, and this is again, we worship God first, we love our family, all the rest fall into place. I can give an overabundance of emphasis and worth to my physique. More and more health magazines, it's, it's just a worship of the body. And I think the more our society has moved away from honoring the spirit or even acknowledging there is a spiritual dimension to us, all that's left is the body and worship of the body. A lot of fitness magazines are pretty near pornographic nowadays in how they're showing women. Community is big. We're made for communion, we're made for community, and I think a big draw of certain gyms nowadays is they're, they're doing community better than some of our churches are doing. Uh, things like CrossFit, um, whether it's spin classes, people need to belong, and if I'm finding an encouraging community that knows me at the gym, that's a great and wonderful thing. Uh, but we can over, again, emphasize when we st I'm watching guys stare at themselves in the mirror it's a true like narcissist like narcissist like the the story itself of the guy that loses himself in a reflection of himself what are we worshiping is my strength something that's serving my loved ones or is it just serving me and it's just for show one of the graces of fatherhood here is that i cannot spend hours and hours in the gym anymore or my one my wife will kill me and two my kids won't know who i am um, there was a couple that was, I know, that was preparing another couple for marriage prep, and the number one concern this couple had in preparing for the sacrament of marriage was how they were both going to be able to work out together once kids arrived. Humility, you know, the, the grace of humility that says the world is not all about me, and that if I'm not, again, the grace of kids is I don't, they don't care about if my, I'm perfectly sculpted like Wolverine. Uh, they just want me to be a horse to ride on. Am I strong enough to throw my kids in the air? If so, that's all they care about, and that's all I should care about in a way. As a man, it's good to be strong, but what about your interior strength? Are you strong on the inside? Are you a man of integrity? More than how much can you lift, how much can you bench, how much do you pray? How much do you discipline your soul? What's your workout routine life in your prayer? Again, as where generations of old used to really be sure to dress up for mass, I see a lot of people take very good care of what they wear to the gym, that the electric green headphones has to, to match the electric green shirt, which has to match the shoes. Um, religion comes from the Latin religiare, which binds us together. So whereas people may cast off or, or move for, away from organized religion, as they say, we all worship something. We all have to bind ourselves to some community CrossFit may be your religion. The NFL may be what you worship. To be a man does not mean you have to look like a Spartan with, 10, uh, with a 10-pack of abs. 
what a man is is strong on the outside perhaps but even more so strong on the inside that knows that I walk with God that God is my priority and all these other things will then fall into place as they need to be we think of gluttony sometimes as overeating but it's really overindulgence in anything whether that is food or the internet or I think you could even have a gluttony of the gym where I become uh, really kind of addicted to the, whether it's the rush of endorphins or the pre-workout nonsense we have nowadays. Um, I can be a glutton for the gym. And so it's, it's, it's being mindful of, am I worshiping the weight room? Do I care more about what other people think of me than what God thinks of me? Because at the end of the day, who cares what anyone else in the gym thinks about you? What does God think about you? Psalm 115 says, not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name be the glory. And so, again, bros, drink your protein, lift heavy things, don't skip leg day. But not to you be the glory to the Lord. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name be the glory. Again, challenge yourself to increase in strength in prayer, just as you would in the weight room. Add a little bit, add a couple minutes of prayer each day load up there and you're going to see spiritual gains like you haven't seen before from all of us at ascension presents god bless